And developing at noon, violence today at the Brazilian border with a clash with security forces. We're told a woman was killed and more than a dozen more injured. It comes after Venezuela President Nicolas Maduro ordered the border closed after plans to bring in humanitarian aid from Brazil and two other neighboring countries this weekend. And two drivers transporting members of the Venezuelan National Assembly were injured during an attack early this morning right near the Colombian border. Rocks flew into the front windshield, sending both drivers to the hospital. Meanwhile, a Venezuela Aid Live concert organized by British billionaire mogul Richard Branson is underway right now. He plans to raise $100 million today to help opposition leader Juan Guaido with his plan to get humanitarian aid across the border. Let's go now to Local 10 News anchor Louis Aguirre. He is live at the concert in Cucuta, Colombia, and he joins us on the phone. Louis. One of the most incredible events I have ever witnessed in my entire life. I wish I could put into words the emotion that you feel here. The air, the energy is just filled with so much hope. This means so much to the people of Venezuela who feel that they have arrived at a seminal moment. Yes, as the tensions mount at every border with Venezuela to try to get that humanitarian aid into the country, there is this force that this is going to happen. In fact, by the Saturday deadline. And this concert is to bring the eyes of the world to exactly what is happening right here in Venezuela. The fact that people are starving, they're dying, they've been without food, they've been without medicine, they've been without the necessary things they need to be able to live for a very, very long time, and they have had it. So right now, led by one by hope, there has been a, a, a gauntlet that has been laid down that Maduro must let this aid into Colombia on Saturday. And so this concert is not only to raise funds, but also to draw attention to what is happening here, to make the entire world aware of what is happening. And as I said, this is one of the most emotional, grandest experiences I've ever had as a journalist in my 30 years in this business. It is incredible. The concert began with a very kind of almost subtle performance by a YouTube star. Her name is Reymar Perdomo who was a social media sensation, but was actually a Chavista, and then crossed the line when Maduro came into power and has been traveling Venezuela on a bus, singing songs of hope and opposition. So it was only fitting that she was the first to take the stage. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Y mi vieja me ayudó, al vacío me lanzó, me dijo mi negrita, es con buena intención, yo soy tu madre, yo quiero verte volar alto y no lo harás, si te tengo entre mis brazos y yo decía... We need to try to help those who are not getting medical help, help those who are hungry, um, and today, hopefully, on the back of this uh, concert, uh, we can start maybe getting supplies uh, into Venezuela so that people are not suffering so much. Raise further funds, we'd like to try to put those funds towards keeping doctors in, in um, Venezuela, keeping nurses in Venezuela, because at the moment most of the doctors and most of the nurses have left, left Venezuela and, and we need them to go back. Okay, you just heard from Richard Branson, who along with Bruno Ocampo, the Colombian entrepreneur, made this thing happen in three weeks. Of course, you have the juxtaposition of this message of love, unity, and hope happening here on the, on the border between Colombia and Venezuela. But then, in stark contrast, you have that violence that erupted today in Brazil on that border side of Gran Salana. As you said, one woman was killed, 12 people badly hurt in clashes with the Venezuelan National Guard and the Venezuelan Army. As Maduro, again, digs his heels in deeper to close up all the borders to make sure that humanitarian aid does not enter Venezuela. He sees that as an invasion. He sees that as a political motivation for the United States and other countries to come in and, and invade Venezuela. He, of course, says there is no crisis in Venezuela and refuses to admit that there is one that is ongoing. But again, the world sees and knows differently, and that is why you have this this grand effort here today in Cucuta with this concert, Venezuela Aid Live. We've some incredible performances. The, the grandfather, the godfather, I should say, of Venezuelan music, pop music, Jose Luis Rodriguez, El Puma took the stage his first time on stage since he had that, that double lung transplant about a year ago. It was such an emotional moment. Uh, many more superstars expected to take the stage. Maluma will take the stage. Carlos Vire, 
uh, Luis Fonsi, uh, and many, many more. It's going to be a big day of music, a five-hour concert. And again, uh, the people here know that this is a moment of hope, a moment of love, and uh, they are very worried about what's going to happen tomorrow. Make no mistake, but they believe that uh, it will happen. Either humanitarian aid will go into Venezuela, that it will be violence, but there will be change. That's the latest from Cucuta here at the Live Aid concert. Venezuela Aid Live. I'm Louis Aguirre, Laren, and Jimmy's back to you in the studio. And so incredible to see these live images. Louis, thank you. We will touch base with you later this afternoon. And our team coverage turns now to Local 10 News reporter Andrew Perez. He is live in Doral with reaction from local Venezuelans. Andrew. And you can just imagine it's not only local Venezuelans, the Cuban exile community reacting as well. People from Colombia also in on this. You had several local leaders that gathered here at Cainama restaurant in Doral just a short time ago. All of them saying they're really pushing for some big changes in Venezuela. The Venezuelan community coming together in South Florida. Watch parties organized across the area for that massive benefit concert, Live Aid Venezuela. I think it's a preparation for what's going to happen tomorrow. They wanted to start moving people to the border uh, in order that tomorrow we have a lot of people in the border to help bring that humanitarian help inside Venezuela. Locals rallying behind the cause, hoping to help raise millions of dollars and convincing Nicolas Maduro to accept food and medical aid supplies to allow them into the country. They're being stockpiled around Venezuela as this standoff continues. Locals saying they support Juan Guaido as president and they want Maduro to step down. Maduro is not the president anymore. Maduro is staying there uh, as a power dictator. But uh, the real interim president of Venezuela is Juan Guaido. So you should be looking at some live pictures of this concert. We have been following this since it began. Such a huge turnout. So many people in South Florida also keeping a very close eye on this. There's another watch party over in downtown Miami as well as Silver Spot Cinema. Another point some of the uh, local leaders here uh, wanted me to say is that they're having a major turnout. They're expecting a major turnout tomorrow on Calle Ocho on 8th Street. They plan on demonstrating on being out there at 4 o'clock tomorrow. That's the latest here in Doral, though. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News.